Hello everyone, I'm Great Look, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Space and India's Moon Base for episode 36. Now it's been a while since I recorded the last episode, so as always I don't remember what I, what I was doing last. Uh, but I guess we got this new welding ship done, and we got storage done as well. Or at least started, I'm not sure if we need any more than that. So I guess our next objective is to start using this to actually repair stuff for some of the factions to better our relationship. Or is there anything else we need to do first? How are we on hydrogen? This seems to be full. It is. Is this full as well? We have covered all of the ports. Great. We will have to take off to see that, I guess. It's heavy, at least. Mm. Hydrogen tank. Basically filled, yes, good. And we have the jump drive ready. I wonder how the batteries will do recharging that over time, if we can jump 5 times, or if we can jump 50. But who knows. We can always come back and put more batteries on, I guess. <coughs> so let's have a look at the inventory here. What sort of resources we have with us. Oh, lots of motors. At least some motors. And these are mainly here for well, well, repair jobs and some trade stuff, I guess. Is there anything here that we actually miss? Oh, is there anything we are missing here? We might need more solar cells to do repairs. Is there any more space in here? There is a bit of space, yes. What is taking all up of that up all of that space? Mainly these, I guess. So we won't ever make any more of those until we are empty basically. We could do with some more steel plate, I guess. So we should be getting these now, hopefully another thousand of those. Or are they all stuck in assemblers that don't have the resources for it? It doesn't look like it. Why is this not finishing? Is it still needing the silicon? Maybe the assemblers have actually gotten filled up with... Uh, well, with resources so they can't request anything. This is not filled up. And it is in cooperative mode. So it doesn't seem like it's a problem, really. But there might still be a supply problem, I guess. I'm not sure if we actually have anything mined here. We have lots of iron, silver, nickel, silicon, platinum even. More resources, okay. I guess this is still fine. We can prepare quite a lot of satellites with solar panels with this. We have a lot of construction composition. Maybe this is all good. Are there any of the rarer resources that we should bring? Something like mid kits, maybe?
Should we bring ammo and guns? Nah, not this time. We have these. Maybe we need a few more. Explosives, maybe. Why isn't this finishing any of the last ones? Is it just incapable of producing anything itself? Where is number seven? Is that mothership? Oh, yeah. That's sweet. I want to know what's going on. As number seven, please. Fifteen, seven, ten, seven, fourteen, eleven, thirteen, twelve. So not in the Then it is probably on the mothership. We should probably just. Low. Oh yeah. We should probably be. Is it not refilling it? Oh, this is empty. It is. Uh... Oh yeah, we're only on the moon. So, no real gravity. No problems. This should fill in. No? Because we don't have any ice, I guess. So we need to get it into our ship. Ah, you said to refill. How to refill, yes. Thank you very much. Also, don't we have a mid bay somewhere? Oh, we have one in here, yes. Okay, what was I doing again? I already forgot. Oh, Assembler 7, of course, we need to either find out where it is and find out why it can't get stuff done, or we need to shift the main assembler. This is all... no, it's not. This is assembling machines. Assembler 9. 8. Any chance to get in here? Not... yeah, there. 10. Let's just hope we find it by luck. 3. That's not a assembler. 5. 6. No, we're not gonna be able to get to it. It's probably one of these two then. Or hidden further in behind all of this. Go to generator. I thought it was the one. Oh well, let's just shift or change which one is the master of the production. Say assembler. Is that even in Yeah, I think I saw that in the room. So assembler, you would now Make a few more of these. Bit more of that. Go cobalt inga. Oh, iron. We should have all of this. Have we run out of gold again? I guess we have. Hmm. That was these. <laughs> Why are the other ones not helping this one? Oh, because it's supposed to be like that. Sorry. My bad. Still nothing helping, apparently. Wait, what? This is cooperative, right? Why are all these not cooperating? Am I mixing this up? 
This means disabled, right? Okay, let's do something like this. That gets... That one is helping. That one is helping, and those are the ones that follow my logic about what that means. Okay, so if we do this, they will also help. Good. It might just have been because we had gravity components in the way, and then they couldn't help with anything after that. Yeah, seems like it. Do some of that. Maybe we should bring some thruster components just because we can trade them. I didn't see them metal right on there. I'm spending so much time on this. Okay, there is metal grid. Uh, let's get these bottles filled up actually. Uh, where are we gonna get the oxygen from? Is this one full of oxygen still? It has tanks at least. Filling. Please auto refill. Thank you. Whoops. Then we're just gonna steal a little bit more from there, and then I guess we will just get going. I am spending too much time doing this. Okay, so we still have this one repair job down there. On the other side of the. Mm. So I guess we're just gonna go and do that first. Four hours left. Let's just go and do it. Now the question is if we should be using our jump drives to get around the moon faster or if it should, should only use it to get between jobs. Just checking the thrust configuration on this. It's only three upwards. Okay, good to know. Now the jump drive. I need to reacquaint myself with. We can go two thousand kilometers. Don't want that. We don't want something like ten kilometers. Let's just make sure we don't crash here. Uh, let's get it. In here. Decrease distance. Increase distance. Let's turn it all down. Five kilometers seems to be the least distance. Then 25. That's a bit of an annoying gap, to be honest. Should also just have the jump button, I guess.
So what happens if I just jump here? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, we need to be out of the gravity. Okay. Good to know. Could just visit this on the way. Let's do it. This is where we have our trading quest assignment, whatever. Good, log on there. Contracts. Oh, I can't finish this here. Okay, so this is at the other station. Good. Do we want new contracts from here? Shall we just take all of these repair contracts? Yeah, let's do it. I might do some of these between episodes, but who knows. Sure, I think I have good us. Is this something we want to do? It's not that much reputation. And it requires us to go to a different station. We don't know how far that is, but let's try it anyway. Repair, sure. Escort, not right now. Repair, yes. We have metal grid. We have construction composition. Not an escort, please. We also have power cells. Can we hold several jobs at once? Who knows? Wait, I didn't even see what that one was. So less else, okay. And last one, thruster components. We didn't get those, so let's not... Oh, I forgot to bring them, so let's not take it. Or maybe we do, because we... there's no time limit and we can always come back. Uh, I guess we should complete the contracts that we can. We have this, but that's for the other station. This one we finish. This one we finish. I really like these acquisition contracts just because we can basically instantly finish them if we bring the, a lot of resources. Power cells? Sure. So how does one initiate one of these hauling contracts? Do we need to go somewhere else? Repairs? Deliver package, repair, 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 repair. Oh, it's been put in my inventory. At least one of them has. Does that mean we can't get both of them in there? Wait, it's only one. I thought I accepted two of these. Did I not? Did it say no? I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe I was just not seeing what it said. There is just that one holy contract. We can't finish this right. Oh, okay. 
So a lot of repair jobs and some acquisition. Some hauling, sorry. Okay, okay. So we have a lot of repairing to do. Where is that package delivery? Deliver package here. So, what? 27,000 kilometers away? Good God. Guess we need to do a lot of jobs for that. Is that a time limited contract? And is it this one? Oh yeah. Oh, it even says the distance here. Guess we should have looked at that. It only gives us 25 reputation. Really? Well, let's start by doing some repair jobs, I guess. Let's try jumping these five kilometers. See how the jump drive behaves after that. So it is still fully charged. Okay. So a five kilometer jump doesn't really take any power, it seems. Which makes sense, it's basically 0% of its capability. some more solar panels. Oh, turn on the welders, please. I'm really not that fond of these repair jobs, to be honest. I should have taken so many of them. Acquisition jobs just makes so much more sense when we have a mining base. Whoops! We destroyed a solar panel. I need to remember that I have a large ship. My bad. What is my inventory filled with? The package stuff. Okay. Okay, what am I doing? Not doing this correctly at least. But then and then and then and then and that. Good, that's all in the gold planner done. Did we do any other damage anywhere? Not sure if these just weren't done to begin with. Okay, I think that's all good. We can try the next one. Like this one. Yes, jump, please.
I guess we could do this a bit differently by going into the control panel every time and fine-tune the distance we want to jump. Maybe that's faster. And then just not having any speed at all. Let's try not to break this small station. So yeah, we can't just go under here. Need to remember that. What else are we needing to repair here? Please don't open oh, there's some stuff. Let's hope that's the last one. It is not. Oh, there's more on top, okay. Which direction do we want to go? Let's go to this one first. So 13.4 kilometers or something like that. Can we do that? How many clicks is this? Somewhere between 15 and 17 it seems. So one is less than 100 meters. Let's go with four then. And try jumping. Oh, what? Tells us right there how long we are going, how far we are going. Let's try that. So I just recently learned that you can fine-tune these sliders with your arrow buttons. So that I'm going to try and use. Did we go a bit too far? No. We just weren't as precise as I thought we would be, I guess. on that. Uh 
okay, oh, that was the one we had actually tried before, but lacked some superconductors as well, something like that. So that is finally done. Uh, I guess we just go for this one. I need to be better at this. Okay, let's try that. Seventeen point one, that should be fine. We should still have five hundred meters or six hundred meters on if it's accurate at all. Apparently it isn't. Still don't have as much thrust as I would really like to break and stuff, but it's still a lot better than it was earlier, so I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Are we almost done here? Maybe there's some more side that needs to be there, or maybe it's something. Oh, oh there's some right here. There we go. That's completed. Hmm. So I guess we're ready for the next one. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.